Hey guys, how you doing? It's Blake with SunflowerOutdoorSports.com TV. And tonight I want to talk to you about one aspect of preparing for an emergency or disaster. Um, no matter where you live in the world, we are all vulnerable to one degree or another um, of being affected by an emergency or a disaster. Whether it's hurricanes, floods, snowstorms, and most recently, as we saw in Haiti or Chile, earthquakes. You know, hundreds of thousands of people have died and now thousands and thousands of people you know are, are desperate for food and clean water you know and um, that's what I'd like to talk to you about is water um, you know wherever you live you need to have some type of a water storage you know whether it's you know a five gallon bucket you know a five gallon storage container or a 55 gallon drum you know you know what is best for your family but you need to have something just in case you get stuck in the house for a couple days you know you need something and you also need a backup plan and that backup plan is some type of water purification system um, whether it's like you know a chemical form like you know purification tablets or a water filtration system and today I want to talk to you about a water filtration system when it comes to water filtration systems, you've got a lot of choices out there. You've got, um, you know, something like this here. It's like a portable water filter that you can throw in your backpack and take in the uh, uh, camping trip with you and have it. Uh, review to come. Or you can have something that's a little bit bigger, um, like this right here. This water filter. It's a gravity-fed water filter. And uh, it's pretty cool, man. These look would look pretty nice in your kitchen I think but they're very very expensive you're talking you know over 200 bucks um, to get started and um, you know if you guys are like me I just don't have you know 200 bucks to, to throw on a water filter um, so that's why today I want to show you guys how to make your own gravity fed water filter and basically it's gonna not, it's gonna use the same type of uh, filters a ceramic filter that you would put in one of these big big bad boys right here and I'm going to do it, uh, show you guys how to do it for under 50 bucks. Um, so let's get started. I want to go through everything you're going to need. The first thing you're going to need is a ceramic water filter. This one right here um, is a Dalton, and it came from sunfloweroutdoorsports.com, and they run for about $35. Uh, that's a, a great deal for a, a water filter here that's going to clean out. It's amazing. Um, you know, 99.99% of harmful bacteria, 99.99% cyst reduction, 99.99% uh, absolute filtration. Uh, I mean, I, it just goes on and on. I mean, this thing is going to, you know, turn sewer water into Perrier. I'm telling you. It's going to be, well, I guess Perrier is sparkling water. So it's going to be Avion. Okay, Avion, sorry. But um, you know what? I just might, you know, take a bucket full of water out of my toilet after this and just show you guys how. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do that. But maybe we'll have some tests coming up here in the future. So you need a water filter. Second thing you're going to need are you're going to need two five-gallon food-grade plastic buckets. Um, I get mine from U.S. Plastics. What is it? I believe it's usplastics.com. But um, these things are about three bucks. So, and then you'll need two lids, which is another couple bucks. So you're getting about the forty-dollar range right there. That's everything you need. And then the tools you'll need really um, a drill with a half-inch drill bit, and then. I'm going to go ahead and just use this little portable saw right here. Um, you may or may not need it, um, depending on how you want to do it. But um, so I'm going to go ahead and readjust the camera and start showing you how to make your own water filter. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work on the, the bottom bucket uh, for the water filter. Um, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm basically going to cut out a hole about the size of this circle. Um, you want to have a pretty good size hole because it is a gravity fed um, water filter and you're going to set your the filter up here and the water is going to drop into there and you just want to make sure you have a good enough, a good enough hole a good enough size hole um, that the water goes into your bucket and it doesn't you know, spill over so I'll just start my hole off by drilling a one half inch hole in here to get me started and then I'm going to take my hand saw here 
and uh, just go around and make a circle. Now I want to go out about, the circle's already made for me really. It's got like this pattern in here, so I'm just going to go off of that. Actually, I should probably. There you go. Ah, ah. You can tell I really paid attention to shop class, huh? There we go. Actually, might be better if I just do like four circles right here, huh? I'm learning with you guys. It's the first time I've done this, so made a water filter. And so. Just kind of shooting from the hip here. There you go. Hey, it's not pretty, but you know, I think when you're feeding your family clean drinking water, they're not going to be complaining about the hole. You might want to take some sandpaper or something, and uh, you might want to take some sandpaper and just kind of you know clean that up a little bit right there, but. Go. Definitely clean the bucket out so you're not drinking plastic water, you know. You get enough of that from the store. Um, okay, so now the second thing we're going to want to do is I'm going to obviously I'm going to clean this up a little bit. The second thing we're going to want to do is we're going to drill a hole in the bottom of this bucket right here. And I'm just going to go straight in the middle there. that nice clean hole there now let's go ahead and install a water filter here again this is a ceramic water filter and uh, it just has a little spout on here it's threaded with a nut and uh, it has a gasket also, so no water leaks out. Pretty handy right there. You got your gasket, put that on there. This will fit right in here. So you can see that, this fits right up there. And then just set it on top of the bucket. And then voila, pour your water, your dirty sewer water in there, and then it's gonna it's going to drain right into your clean your uh, clean water bucket and uh, you're ready to roll. Alright guys, um, I'm going to wrap this up real quick. Just wanted to show you how I uh, am going to store my uh, gravity fed water filtration system here. Uh, I'm going to take the bucket that holds the clean water and does not have any holes in it and this will be the bottom bucket and then I'm going to take my um, bucket that I put the hole in for the water filter and I'm going to put it inside the clean water bucket here. Then we will take the water filter that we got from sunflowerouddoorsports.com. Um, make sure it's all wrapped up real good and keep it nice and clean. Put it into here. Now if I just went ahead and put the lids on this and put it away, I think I'd have some wasted space. So I'm going to go ahead and um, I've got some MREs uh, with uh, some silverware. I'm going to throw in here. I've got some cups to drink the clean water I'm going to make in here. And maybe a bag of rice. And then maybe you know, some type of little mess kit or something um, to cook with. You know, this probably isn't everything I'm going to put in there. I need to think about it a little bit and figure out, you know, the best um, stuff to put in there. But um, you need to have something. You don't want to just be wasted space. Plus, you know, if you have to, you know, uh, get out of Dodge fast, you can grab this and go, and you'll have, you know, at least limited supplies with you. Um, you know, if you've got your uh, your uh, your emergency bag with you, you can have that, and you can have this. So um, at least you know, for a couple days, you can take care of you and your family. Um, again, put the the lid without a hole on it. Seal it up on there real good, and then maybe take a little bit of. Uh, packing tape or something and just tape this on top of it so it's all together in one nice neat package. Uh, this is a really cool little kit. Again, you know, it's not the fancy $200 water filter. 
um, that you're going to get uh, that looks real nice in your kitchen, but this could save your family's life one day. Um, so make sure you go to sunflowerdoorsports.com and get your water filter today and have fun uh, making the filter. You know, grab your kids and uh, get them involved. Thank you so much for watching. And again, I know I don't say it every time, but I just really want to thank all the men and women out there who are serving in the armed forces, protecting our freedoms every day. Thanks, guys.